Hi everybody, 860 Cologne here with another fragrance review. This time we're going to be doing Burberry Brit Rhythm. Now, Rhythm was brought to us in 2013, in fact, it just got released, and it marks the beginning of Burberry's in-house perfume development. The taglines for this one, Burberry Brit is a youthful and instinctive fragrance for men, sexy and provocative. Brit Rhythm is inspired by the exhilaration and adrenaline of live music and the electric energy of the crowd. Move into the spotlight and experience the energy of living for the moment. Now, the notes provided for us from the Burberry website, the electric top notes are basil, verbena with cardamom, and a shot of juniper berries. The adrenalized heart notes, black leather, heady patchouli, and striax resin. Sensual base notes, Cedarwood vibrates with incense and sweet tonka bean. The noses for this, three of them, three powerhouses in the fragrance industry, Dominique Ropion, Anne Flippo, and Olivier Polge. Now, Ropion won the 2008 International Fragrance Prize and has made several fragrances for the Frédéric Mal line, including Portrait of a Lady and Vetiver Extraordinaire. Also for a Lab on Fire made What We Do in Paris is a Secret, amongst many, many others and many other collaborations. Flippo made one of my favorite women's designer releases of last year, uh, Tresor Midnight Rose for Lancôme, and together with Ropion and others created several frags, including YSL L'Homme and La Nuit de L'Homme. Now, Polge, who has a great name in the fragrance business. His father, of course, has been the main nose of Chanel and only the third nose of Chanel. And Olivier Poge will be taking over for his father when um, Jacques retires. And he's made several great fragrances, including Christian Dior's Homme, Davidoff Hot Water, Diesel Only the Brave, Dolce Gabbana The One for Men, Spice Bomb by Victor and Rolf, and all three of these designers, these noses, collaborated earlier to create Lancôme's La Vie est Belle. Great notes, great noses, very promising. I was looking forward to this one since I have tried several uh, Burberry fragrances before, liked most of them, some of them I own and try to wear a lot. So, out of the bottle, I wasn't impressed. In fact, I was pretty let down. It smelled like a watered-down version of a decent fragrance. There was some depth, but it was pretty weak and left me wanting more. About a half hour ap after the application, there's a green note that dominates, but it's an unripened green note and I didn't find it that pleasant. When that starts to fade, it blends with the other notes and it works well, but still it's nothing great. Um, on the dry down, I get a skin scent. There are hints of depth here with a rubbery like vanilla and a skosh of incense and I can see similarities to Givenchy Play and F by Ferragamo Black but Rhythm is again a weaker version of both. Now longevity and projection, to be honest this is kind of early for me to be putting out a review. I, I try to get them out as soon as I can with the new releases, but this one I've honestly only had on my skin for about seven, seven, eight hours. And so it was easy for me to wrap my mind and my nose around this one. I don't think there's going to be any big changes, but I can't exactly speak to longevity and projection. I did... I asked someone if they could smell it on me, and they said yes. I was actually kind of surprised, and she kind of liked it, which I was also kind of surprised, but it wasn't a, uh, a big endorsement. And like I said, it's early, but I don't expect any new revelations for me to come with this one if I wear it again in the future. The age range 
it seems Burberry is going after a younger crowd, and so I would say this is kind of like high school up to about 30. Now, the good of this fragrance. Well, it's not a crisp, clean, fresh fragrance like most of the releases nowadays, and it's not linear by any means, and it does take me on a journey. The bad? Well, this journey is one where at the end of it, I kind of wish I could get back the time that I spent on the journey. Not really time well spent to me. Now, why would you buy this? Well, fans of Burberry clothes and fragrances, I'm sure, will like it. And if you're a younger guy who wants something a little deeper than the typical fragrance you see in the designer house without getting too, too wild, this might be perfect for you, actually. Why would you pass? If you feel like you don't want to waste your time or if you've been let down by other designer frags in the past, I'd smell it out, but I doubt if you'll be pulling your wallet out anytime soon. Now, the three ounce, three ounce 90 mil bottle is $79. 1.6 ounce 50 mil is 60. Aftershave balm is 48 and the shower gel is 32. Is it worth the price? No. If you notice, the large bottle is only 3 ounces, 90 mil, not a 3.4 ounce or 100 mil. Burberry Brit Original is 3.4 ounce. I think all of the other Burberry releases, Burberry Touch is also a 3.4. I'm not sure on that, not positive on that one. But when you get these three huge designers in the fragrance community to come together and make you a fragrance. You've got to pay them a, a lot, I'm sure. But when you're cheaping me out and taking my money, extra money, for another 10 mil or 0.4 ounces, to Burberry, I say, fuck you. I don't like that shit. This one makes me feel as if the Hyatt people in the Burberry uh, corporation were only thinking about the money and made the noses tame down the fragrance to make it more sellable. And with those noses and the notes on paper, I know a few people were actually looking forward to this one because of those two ingredients, the noses and the notes. And it should have been something remarkable or at least noteworthy. And it turned out to be not that at all. Now, what do I think is a reasonable price for this one? Honestly, I just got a 3.4 ounce fragrance at TJ Maxx for $16. I will be wearing that fragrance more than I would wear this one. So just for that reason alone, I'm going to say $16 for the large bottle. And I want to thank the lovely girl that let me use her as a bottle model for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I am sorry about this one again. Another miss. This is really disappointing. Especially since this is the first fragrance from the in-house production line. It's going to be put under more scrutiny, I think, and it's not, not a good first release at all. So that was Burberry Brit Rhythm for you. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know what you think, and I'll talk to you soon.